Hello viewers, welcome to some more coverage of the stream against the Tax Johnson. This is the second race around Brands Hatch, driving the BMW M1 Pro car in S-Class. So off the line we go, this is aboard my viewpoint here. Super GT, I don't have my original gameplay, so I'm having to use the replay footage. Racer here, just behind, that is me just ahead. And this is CQR Type R, the first of the members of my team. Back on board with me, trying to look up the inside of Liquid, not quite getting his position. Racer is just going to get tipped wide and he's going to be shuffled to the back of the pack as we go through the left hand at the bottom of the hill. So he's going to have a lot of work to do from there. Type R doing very well at the initial stages of the race. He did qualify third and has kept third as he did actually make contact with Marple for the first turn by giving that position back. So this is me in 5th, looking at the back of Liquid and then Racer here at the back of the pack in 10th. So he's going to have quite a lot of work to do to get into a decent position from here. And this is Taipa, so again in 3rd place. Attacks Johnson once again in 1st. And this is Marple just up ahead, O&R Marple in 2nd position. So CQR has managed to break into a podium position at the moment. And this is on board with me just at the back of the top five so liquid ahead of me and then he has got a bit of a gap there to type r so type r looking very close to marple as we go through the final turn onto the main straight here at brands hatch in kent so coming across the line towards lap number two we have 10 laps in this race and then through turn number one want to avoid that curb on the inside it will throw you off if you touch that one so razor here coming up to the back of Maldonado Jr. up the inside at the top of the hill and he's going to get the move done uh, he fights around the outside but actually just gets the move done in the end coming back down the hill the pack is very close up ahead so this is a good opportunity to get his head down and try and catch up so Liquid now as you can see the gap is building between him and the guy in front so that's Type R in front and actually that's going to uh, help me as I try to look for a way past so in the previous race Liquid was in a, a clear and distinct third place but here not quite on the pace of the top three this time so I'm going to try to capitalize on that through the uh, right hand kink as we go downhill now this is a very tricky section to get right it's a blind turn in entry for this turn it goes in very narrow and that is going to uh, put him on the back foot on the exit this left hander not very good overtaking opportunity it is very hard to overtake around this brand hatch circuit the type r is looking for a move into the final turn but again not quite able to do it there as i mentioned in the previous race it's very hard to get alongside people and outbreak them in this race and this is a couple of laps ahead so racer has caught up with the main pack that is lucifer getting very wide just catching the edge of that curb we all know that that curb and most curbs indeed around this track are pretty much a nightmare so back towards GTZ Liquid he is fourth overall third for the Johnson team so as it stands here uh, Type R in third and myself in fifth are the best two members of my team it's pr very much a team based score here looking just to try to get ahead of members of the opposing team and Liquid is going to go wide and that is going to give me the run as we approach the final turn and I just get ahead before we get to the braking zone and I am through into fourth position now I'm very pleased with the fourth position in this caliber of race some very very good drivers in this race more than pleased to be in fourth position so Liquid going to try to retake that fourth position getting very close on the apex but then I just accelerate away as we go up the hill towards turn two. He's going to lock up ever so slightly up there and then taking a late apex for a good drive down the hill towards turn three. Type R just losing the, uh, the tail here of the top two. So that is Marple actually putting in a very good lap, getting right onto the back of Johnson to put some pressure onto him. Liquid again, likewise, putting some pressure on me. Uh, not, I'm not really going to drive away uh, so quickly in this one. Now as for lap times, we're targeting 1 minute 27s in this race around this track in this car. Anything below a 128 is a very good time. 
and the top uh, guys here, so Johnson, Marple and Type R will be consistently getting 27s, perhaps low 27s as um, they are lapping ever so slightly quicker and as you can see there they have got a margin of about 2 seconds so we do skip fours to Type R once again he has got a nice margin over uh, myself in fourth so he doesn't really have to worry too much about um, the action back there but the action is actually kicking off just ahead Johnson almost going off I think they did briefly make contact there through the final turn but Marple is going to retain second Johnson just staying in the lead it looked like it was going to kick off there and Taipa would have re been ready to pounce straight into the lead had they made contact but unfortunately for my team um, Johnson and Marple are very good drivers and they're not quite going to wipe each other out unlike you know Mercedes in Formula 1 for example into turn number 4 very tricky turn to get right looking for a late apex really around here but the car does grip very nicely once you get the throttle down uh, it does actually grip quite nicely on the exits of the turns it's on the entry where it gets a little bit squirrely uh, to use that kind of word and through the long right hander getting uh, nicely hooked up on the apex type are actually uh, putting a very good lap in so far and now you can see it's a very close three-way battle for the lead of the race but it's going to be as I say very hard to get past and then Type R just getting very close on the apex but losing it on the exit getting a kick of grass on the entry and on the exit is going to lose a couple of temps there as he drives into the final turn of the track and uh, Marple still putting a lot of pressure on Johnson now I kind of said in uh, well in practice for this event that qualifying is going to be very important because of how um, how hard it is to overtake around this kind of track not only is it hard to overtake but it's hard to overtake when everyone's so equal so these three guys up the front here very equal on pace and it's actually very hard therefore to get alongside someone and outbreak them so back to the battle here with Liquid and myself as you can see up ahead um, the, the gap has opened up between 3rd and 4th so myself here good couple of seconds between myself and Type R now um, further back in the race, Racer did manage to get through into 6th position so he's directly behind this battle I could have played it very tactically and backed up Liquid into Racer and given Racer a shot and getting into 5th I didn't want to risk it too much, I just wanted to go all out for pace and hope that I could just stay ahead uh, in attack is the best form of defence kind of mode so coming through um, the kink, right hand kink up the hill uh, with type R now and in, into the left the second to last turn on the track that is Marple going to go wide but he's going to cover the inside and then CQR type R is going to be forced to the outside there's no way past around the outside of the final turn as the camber falls away so he is going to have a decent run though into turn one but once again he's going to have to go for a very big and brave lunge into the first turn it's already hard enough around, the, around there to get on the brakes as late as you can there's a very big risk of going wide he does look up the inside Marple is going to come across on the braking zone which I think was a little strong but he's going to maintain second place Johnson is just going to get half a car width uh, of breathing space there as a result so back with Liquid, chasing down myself, Super GT just up ahead, he's going to get a very good run, this is the end of lap number 9, on to lap 10, I'm wary of that attack, so I'm going to go defensive into the first turn, I'm not sure if I should have done, I'm just going to raise that curb, it's going to throw me sideways as we go on the exit, Liquid is passed and then into lap number 10 of 10, I've relinquished that 4th place, which I was so pleased to get, and on the exit of the 2nd turn, coming down the hill, doesn't look like I'm going to be able to go for an immediate retake of fourth position but I will try to stick as close as I can because you never know there might be another mistake into turn four breaking quite early going for a late entry and then cutting back for a decent exit I do actually get a little bit of oversteer on the exit and Liquid is going to get a couple of hundred feet there or a couple of tens of feet but um, very crucial space there that he is gaining on me so through the long, long right at the back of the GP circuit here at Brands Hatch, 
taking over the curb. Plenty of curb there on the inside. Uh, coming uphill, this is going to be where I could possibly catch up quite a lot. Liquid was going uh, very narrow into there. I, actually, I am actually quicker through there on this lap, but it's probably not going to be enough as we come up to the end of the race. Uh, very unlikely I can get up the inside from here, and he's going to be too far behind. So back on board with Type R. That is Johnson going to win the race from Marple in second, then Type R. Liquid here in fourth. I was very close on the run up to the line, almost taking fourth once again. And maybe if there was another lap, I could have had a shot up the inside there into turn one. But that was going to be the end of the race. So Johnson winning that one quite comfortably. Although Marple did give him a very good run for his money. Type R doing very well to stick with them and finish in third. Now that is going to bring a close to this video. I hope you have enjoyed it guys. I will try to bring you the Catalonia race. I mentioned in the previous video that I wouldn't be able to bring it to you. But I think Johnson will be sending me the replay. So I should be able to get some coverage for that. Might not be immediately after this video though. So it might take a while to get this third video out. But I hope you have enjoyed this one and the previous race at Nürburgring and I will link uh, Johnson's channel and uh, Twitch channel below in the description if you would like to view the entire stream once again and I hope you have enjoyed this one guys let me know your thoughts on the race thank you very much for watching as always hit that like button if you did like it subscribe for more of the same like this great Forza racing and I hope to see you next time thanks for watching goodbye